الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا إنه من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضله فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله وصفيه من خليل وصفيه وخليله بلغ رسالة وأدى الأمانة وجاهد في الأمة وكشف الله به الغمة صلوات ربي وسلامه عليه عباد الله اعلموا أن خير الكلام كلام الله تعالى وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار أعادني الله وإياكم من النار يقول سبحانه وتعالى في محكم تنزيله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون وقال تعالى يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا All praises due to Allah, whom we seek his help, we seek his forgiveness. We seek refuge in Allah from whatever evil our heart conceal and from the consequences of our evil deeds. Whomever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants guidance will never be led astray, and whoever he leads astray will never find guidance. And I bear witness that there is none worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has no partners. And I bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his slave, servant and messenger. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in his book, O you who believe, fear Allah as he deserve to be feared and die not, except in a state of Islam, in a state of submission, submission to one God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Respected brothers and sisters in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created and made all these galaxies and planets. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala picked the best of it for us to live in. That is the earth. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created all human beings. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala picked the best of the human being, among the human being, are who? The prophets. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also made among the prophets the best one, who? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created days in a week. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala picked the best of the days is Friday. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made 12th month of the year. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala picked and made the best of these 12 months is what? Ramadan. Not only that, within Ramadan, respected brothers and sisters, in Ramadan, we have different levels of Ramadan and the days of Ramadan. So the first portion of Ramadan is different than the second portion, and the second portion is different than the third portion. So the first portion, ulama said, that it's a warming up time. The first portion is a warming up. You do your best, you warm up, that you do best in the next portion, the next 10 days. The Prophet ﷺ did the same thing. In first days of Ramadan, the Prophet ﷺ did his best from ibadah, from salah, from everything. So Jibreel ﷺ came to Prophet ﷺ and he said, إِنَّ الَّذِي تَقْلُبُهُ أَمَانَ That what you are looking for from the reward, from the blessings, from all the good deeds, it's ahead, which is the next 10 days. So the Prophet ﷺ, the next portion, the next 10 days, the middle 10 days, 
He did his best from ibadah, from salah, from all these things. Then Jibreel alayhi salam came again to Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he said, إِنَّمَا تَطْلُبُهُ أَمَانَ That what you are looking for, what you are seeking for, the forgiveness and the reward and the blessings, it's ahead. Which is the next 10 days. So the next 10 days what the sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did, he made a'tikaf in the masjid. Because there's nothing after that. So Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wants the best of the best, so he stayed in the masjid, did a'tikaf. Everyone knows a'tikaf means complete dedication for, from you towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You sit in the masjid and you do the Quran, everything. So we realize that even the 10 days of Ramadan and the month of Ramadan is better than the whole year. The second portion of Ramadan, the second 10 days of Ramadan is better than the first 10 days. And the last portion of Ramadan is better than the first and second days and the whole month and whole year. And we are witnessing these 10 days, my brothers and sisters. And everyone knows, I don't have to explain, MashaAllah, everyone knows that in these 10 days there is what? Laylatul Qadr. And also all of you, I think, no doubt, all of you knows that Laylatul Qadr, we read in Quran, is what? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Khayrun min al-fishar. It's better than the thousand months. Thousand months? How many years, thousand months? Twelve. I heard twelve. I don't know what the calculation is. The, Zakamallah. The exact Years is for uh, 83 or 40, 43 or 40, uh, sorry, 83 or 84 years. Let's say 84 years. Now, subhanallah, <coughs> let's focus. I want to stop here for some time. I want to talk about Laylatul Qadr later on. And basically, you know about Laylatul Qadr and what to do and what to, not to do. But basically, I want to focus on Laylatul Qadr. But before that, I want to focus on al Shahr, Thousand months. Eighty-four years. This is from the one side, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying what? Laylatul Qadr khayrun min al Shahr, The night of power, the night of decree, the night of destiny. Laylatul Qadr is better than the thousand months, which is eighty-four years. From the other side of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said what? أَعْمَارُ أُمَّتِي مَا بَيْنَ سِتِينِ وَالسَّبْعِينِ وَأَقَلُّهُمْ مَا يُجُوزُ ذَلِكِ The age of my nation, the average age of my nation is between 60 to 70. And very few of them will exceed that. So subhanallah. The average of our nation is already being confirmed from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 60, 70. This is the expiry date of us. Even though if you exceed that, or anyone exceed that age, he's already expired. And I can see from the masjid, I don't think so that we have anyone at the age of 70 or 75, either 80. Because I don't think so the one who's at 70 or 75 or 80, he will be able to come to this masjid and sit and listen to the khutbah. Or he will be physically fit to fast Ramadan. Or maybe he's mentally fit to pray five times a day. Khalas, after 70, expiry date. Subhanallah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying from the other side, Laylatul Qadr, one night is better than 84 years, which is the above the average. Allahu Akbar. Only one night? Subhanallah. So I would like to focus on that night that is above our limit, our average age, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us. Now, respected brothers and sisters, I would like to just make three categories to make it easy for all of us. And easy and fast. I would like to talk about Laylatul Qadr, the blessings of Laylatul Qadr, the signs of Laylatul Qadr, and mistakes that people do in Laylatul Qadr on the last 10 days, sorry, and how you can invest and be a smart investor in last 10 days. So let's go to the Laylatul Qadr and the importance of Laylatul Qadr. 
Now the importance of Laylatul Qadr, respected brothers and sisters, as we know, that if you do any act on that night, it will consider for you that you did that act of worship for 48, 84 years. For 84 years. Not only that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Salamun hiya hatta al Fajr. In the same surah, Surah Al Qadr. That you will attain peace, tranquility in yourself, within yourself, in that night. It will save you. It will give you power and push that you continue for the next year and the next year with peace. And the signs of the Laylatul Qadr, that everyone knows that the signs of Laylatul Qadr is what? That the sun rises without the shine. But this is the authentic hadith, that the day after the Laylatul Qadr, the sun rises and you can able to see the sun clean, clear, without any uh, light or without any breeze. breeze. So, but this is the later. We want to catch the Laylatul Qadr itself. The Prophet ﷺ says the night itself you will be able to see the moon like a shiqqi jifna. So the ulama explained what is shiqqi jifna. Shiq means half. Jifna means the plate that used to eat. You know the round plate, big plate? Now when you take the big plate and you cut it in the half, you will see the moon exactly from your own eyes that it's exactly the half piece of a plate. Exactly the half. And when you will see that, be sure that this is Laylatul Qadr. But it doesn't mean that you see that one day and then you skip all the lights. This is one of the signs that you can see and you can feel it. This is one. The second, the same night is neither hot, neither cold. You will not find a lot of sounds and noises and, and disturbance at that night. You will feel the, the peace at that night. You will feel by yourself that you are calm in that night. That night is Laylatul Qadr. So we seek these 10 nights Laylatul Qadr in it. But again, I would like to talk about the mistakes that the people do in the last 10 days, but I will come to that point later on. Also, besides Laylatul Qadr, there is another night that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give the gifts and, and presents to everyone. Is it Laylatul Qadr? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that everyone will get the reward and the presents and the gifts at that night. So the companion said, is it the same night of Laylatul Qadr? The Prophet ﷺ said, لا ولكن عامل يوفى أجره عند عمله في الآخر. That no, it's not Laylatul Qadr. It's the last night of Ramadan. You know when you have last night or last day in so-and-so program, last day in your office, last day or something, what usually they have, they have the farewell, they have this, they have celebration, they have parties. Exactly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the last night of Ramadan is the celebration. What Allah will do? What Allah will give you the gift? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will save your neck from the hellfire. What do you want more than this? Allah will save your neck from the hellfire, but only for those who really struggle in Ramadan, who really struggle in the last 10 days. It's struggling. It's very important in the last 10 days. So, we have two opportunities. One Laylatul Qadr in the last 10 days, and already three or two days passed, only we have now seven days or six days. Do your best. Laylatul Qadr and the last day or last night of Ramadan, which is the night of the gifts and the presents from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now let's come to the mistakes that the people do. Knowingly and unknowingly. Some people, they think, because there is a hadith, that the Laylatul Qadr in the odd days. Laylatul Qadr in the odd days. Now this is hadith number one. 
There is hadith number two, al tamisuha fi al-akhir ashr. Seek it. Be keen about it in the last ten days. Not only that, there is another hadith that says something that will completely make your calculation is upside down. Wallahi, I know people. They pray on odd days. Are you coming to the message, brother? It's 20 right. No, no, wallahi, I will be at home, you know, little back pain, this and that. I will pray at home. Like, the second day, are you coming, inshallah? Yes, yes, I will join you. And mashallah, he is so active at that day. The second day, the brother will say, little work, I'll pray at home, don't, don't worry. The day, day after or the night after, mashallah, fully active, coming. Even in the masjid, wallahi, we realize on the odd days, the mashallah, the queue and the, the rows are more, and the normal days, less. More, less, more, less, subhanallah. Think, people thinking that, subhanallah, the odd days is Laylatul Qadr. And some people think that the, odd, the Laylatul Qadr is on 27th day, or 27th night of, uh, of Ramadan. This is all a hadith. If you bring them together, you will understand something. I don't have time to explain the hadith, but I will just say what the ulama said. Bringing all the hadith. If Ramadan is 30 days, the odd number is what? 21, 23, 25, 27, 29. SubhanAllah. We all know that. But what is if Ramadan is 29 days? And all the calculation is will will go ups and down. The odd days will be 22, 24, 26, and 28. So there is no chance for you or for me or for anyone, especially sisters, sometimes they do that, that you don't know I have children, I will sit home, I will pray tomorrow. Do your best. Home, at home or at the masjid. Do your best. Because the night is, is keep changing. And Laylatul Qadr is not necessary that if it's here today, it will be here, it will be the same day in other country. No, Ulama said it's key changing. If we witness Laylatul Qadr tonight, it might be after two or three days in somewhere else. So, this is the mistake that we do in last 10 days that we pray alternative days. And we do our best in alternative days. So, what is the smarter or the smartest way that you can invest your time, your ibadah, in these last few days. Respected brothers and sisters of Islam, Prophet ﷺ said, Man qama Ramadan iman al wahtisaban, wufir lahu ma taqaddam man man bih. Number one, the one who stand up for Ramadan with the full iman and seeking reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will forgive all, who pre all his previous sins. Not only that, respected brothers and sisters, these 10 days, do your best. Give in a way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Read Quran, do dhikr, strive, do whatever you can do. Just forget something that calls, well, my back is paining, my knees, my legs, my this and that. Wallahi, it will go the second day. You will not feel about it. But what will remain is the ajr. What will remain is the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What will remain is the blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless you with. So never ever think that Allah Iran is taking too long. Let it be. It's only seven days we have. What's the big deal? Sometimes if you go and you have paperwork and you go one of the ministries, Wallah, you will wait for one hour and you cannot open your mouth. So why we talk too much and we do so much, you know, this and that and we call and we, you know, cannot tolerate when it comes to ibadah. So respected brothers and sisters of Islam, the last motion that I will say that how you will invest in Ramadan in the last 10 days, أقول ما تسعون استغفر الله لي ولكم ولساء المسلمين استغفروا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم. الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على نبيه مصطفى وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم على نجيه الجلا وعلى أثاره مثلنا. Respected brothers and sisters in Islam, in few minutes and I will conclude. What is the smartest way that you spend in Ramadan? Look, we have now only six or seven days. Now, one thing that you can do is what? <coughs> Some of the mashayikh said that give sadaqah. Every day give sadaqah. It doesn't matter how you give, but give sadaqah on every day or every night. Why? Because the day that you will give sadaqah, and if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wills 
that on the same day there is Laylatul Qadr as you give Sadaqah for 84 years. SubhanAllah. Read Quran. Read Quran as much as you can. Doesn't matter. Some people say, well, I'm a very slow leader, reader and, you know, I, I find very difficult to read. Read. Even few lines, read. You know, within your capacity, read. Because if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wills on that day, there is Laylatul Qadr as you read the Quran for 84 years. SubhanAllah. You never know that you will read or you will live for that many years. SubhanAllah. The best thing that you can do, my brothers and sisters, of course, alhamdulillah, we are praying. Don't skip the prayers. Be with jama'ah. In tahajjud, in qiyamul layl, in taraweeh. Don't skip that. I'm telling you something additional that you can do. So inshallah, it will be count in your scale on the day of judgment. So give salah. Doesn't matter how much you give, just give. Read Quran as much as you can. And one of the best acts that you can do is dhikr. Wallah, you can do dhikr in your bed, even if you are covered in your blanket. You can do dhikr. It's not required for you proper clothes or wudu or qibla or something like that. Nothing, just do dhikr. It's the most easiest thing that you can do is dhikr. And one of the shaykh, by name of Shaykh Abdul Aziz Tarafi from Saudi, may Allah preserve him. What he said, he said something very beautiful. Then he said, there is a dhikr in Quran, uh, there is a dhikr in a hadith, that the best of the dhikr is La ilaha illallah, Tawheed. And best of the Tawheed to say La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu, lahu al-mulku lahu al-hamd wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir. And everyone knows that. La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu, lahu al-mulku lahu al-hamd wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir. The hadith says that if you say hundred times this dhikr, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward you as you free ten slaves. Freeing 10 slaves, my is like, okay, so what? 10 slaves? Wallahi, it's, it's something huge. That you buy a person with his life, and then you just let him go for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imagine. And this is really serious thing that you, you just let slave free. Because, you know, when a person kills someone by mistake, what's the ransom? One of the ransom is just to free the slave. You know, when a person, have intercourse with his wife during Ramadan, one of the ransom and one of the things that you do is what? Free slave. It's a huge thing. And it's a huge sin in Ramadan for a husband to do this. But what is the, what is the reward or what is the uh, ransom is? Just to let the slave free. Now imagine by doing that only 10 a hundred times, which will take only five minutes from you, you are freeing 10 slaves. Imagine if you do that on daily basis for last 10 days. And Allah wills that on one of the days is Laylatul Qadr and you did that dhikr. How many slaves that you, you know, free for 84 years? Not only that, Wallahi, dhikr is open for you. Just sit and dedicate yourself. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. One of the best dhikr. You say Subhanallah, Subhanallah. You sit and you say Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. La hawla wa la quwwata. You just name. Yeah, dhikrs. Sit 10 minutes this, 10 minutes this, 10 minutes this, and just imagine on the day of judgment you will come and you will see that you did dhikr for 84 years, which is above the limit that the Prophet ﷺ told us. So this is the opportunity. Don't get lazy, respected brothers and sisters. Do your best. And I will conclude with one thing. One thing amazing, Subhanallah, I read. That in al khuyula fi sibaqi law sharafat ala al intiha la badalat aqsa juhdiha li tafusa fi sibaq. Fala kakun al khuyula aqtara minik. Subhanallah. You know, when the horses they are in the you know, race track and they have a race, at the last portion, when they're just about to finish, they struggle and they take all their energy. Why? Just so they will win. So let's not make the horses smarter than the human. SubhanAllah. When the horses think like that, that okay, this is the last motion, I'll take my own energy and I will run as much as I can so I will win. What about the humans? What about the Muslims? We are at the last 10 days. Take out your energy. Don't, don't care about your 
tiredness and your you know legs and back and this and blood pressure whatever don't just be with the jama'ah as much as you can so inshallah you will win and inshallah you will be among those that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will free you from the hellfire I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us in the last 10 days and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the strength to focus on our ibadah in the last 10 days Allahumma Azza al-Islam wa al-Muslimin Allahumma Azza al-Islam wa al-Muslimin Allahumma Azza al-Islam wa al-Muslimin Allahumma